Good afternoon, Grade 11s. Today, we will be looking at the writing process as it pertains to playwriting, as outlined in the program of studies. Now, to start off, I'm going to outline some do's and don'ts before I take you through writing a scene. Now, this scene writing process is one that I use personally and can be adapted in any way you like. Here we go with the do's. First one, be creative. By this, I mean you should be willing to write down any idea, no matter how ridiculous it sounds. Give yourself the room here to accumulate ideas and make a library filled with potential play possible. The second point ties in explicably with the first. It is, explore possibilities. Once you have the ideas on paper, you need to explore and mine them for all they are worth. Go through every possible scenario each idea might offer and pull out the best it has. On to the third point. It is simply this. Keep writing. I don't know how much I need to stress this. You will get better the more you write. Feedback is important, but you need to keep writing. It is the foundational point in all of this. Fourth point. Follow the writing process. But remember, it's a first draft, which means you are allowed to make mistakes. You can rewrite. Editing and revision are a process, like refining gold. It takes time and effort, but the end product is worth it. This is that first step in the process. Let's move to the don'ts. First up, don't edit as you write. Get the ideas on paper. If you edit as you go, you will get bogged down when you need to keep writing. Editing now will only hinder the process that you are trying to achieve with your writing. Second, don't aim for perfection. That is not the goal of the first draft. You need to get the ideas out and on paper. If you scrutinize now, you aren't going to write anything. Let the ideas flow. Perfection with revision comes later. Third, don't expect it to work the first time round. Like I said in the do's, make mistakes and learn from them. Trial and error is your best friend. Embrace it. And remember, these are the first steps in a process. Don't get hung up on it all. You will revise, edits will be made. It's not the end of the world or your writing. Fourth, don't downplay good work. Writing should always be looked at as improvable. However, when writing is done well, you need to accept it as such. Learn from it like you would bad writing. Just don't let your ego get overinflated because of it. Accept praise when it is due, and keep improving. Fifth, don't be discouraged. Criticism will happen, and it will be hard. But constructive criticism is an invaluable tool for a writer. It highlights the errors and inconsistencies within your work, and allows for you to fix them. It is a good thing, but if you only take it as criticism, you stop short of the good it can bring. Writing a scene. Here I will summarize the basic steps I use when I write a scene for a play. Remember, this is only an outline. You can reconstruct it in any way that suits you as long as you keep the core components. Step 1. Characters. You will need to identify who is in the scene. This forces you to come up with the relationship between the characters. Are they friends? Enemies? Is it a grandparent with their grandkid? Two strangers? Are there extra characters? This will help define the conflict and how it will play out in the scene. Step 2. Conflict. This is the driving force in the scene. Who wants what and from whom are they trying to get it? This will determine the action that happens in the scene. Let's say we have two friends who haven't seen each other in a couple years. Character A, let's call him Kevin, needs some money from character B, Chuck. Step 3. Setting. This gives your scene the space in which it will play out. It can be anything. Literally, anything. Let's say Kevin and Chuck are meeting in the local diner. This defines how the action will play out. Characters might be a little more reserved in this setting over another. Step 4. Resolution. Now this does not mean that your conflict is dealt with entirely. What I intend by it is this. How was the conflict managed, and how did it drive the action as the scene progressed? Here is where you would plan out how Kevin asks Chuck for money. Final tips for writing. Try and keep it believable. 
You want people to understand what is playing out on the stage when your scene is performed. So sticking to the realm of possibility is a safe bet, and what most new writers should do as they begin their writing journey. As a writer, you can justify your own realms of possibility. All you need to do is provide the reader or actor reason to believe in the reality within your play. The sky is the limit, just means a bit more work on your part. And lastly, embrace the freedom to create. Not all of it will be good. In fact, a good portion of it will be trash. However, you have the freedom to create it all, good and bad. Don't fool yourself into thinking otherwise.